So today I'm going to be showing you how to take footage from a Canon camera and putting it into ProRes format on a Mac. So we're going to open up EOS Utility to download the images from the ca camera. And we're going to click let, Let's You Select and Download Images right there. And then I already pre-recorded two random clips. So I'm going to click those and press Download over here. So I'm going to change the destination folder for this, browse, find the folder to put it in. I'm going to make a new one in my movies folder called walkthrough just for the purposes of this. So I'm going to click open right there. Um, oh, so the shooting day format, you can do these different settings. I'm just going to put two years right there. Okay. Okay. And then it'll start downloading when you press okay. So now I'm going to open up Automator and start that while these are downloading, start setting it up. So we're going to open the workflow. So click choose for that one. And the first one we're going to do is get finder item. So in the search box, just search for finder. And then it should be down here, right there. So drag that in. And what that's going to do is it's going to get your highlighted finder items and put them into the workflow. And next we're going to go to the movies, encode media, drag that in. This is what's going to actually make it into ProRes. So under setting, click ProRes right there. And next we're going to get the naming tool. So you got to go to library, search name, rename finder items. This prompt is going to come up right here if you want to delete or copy the finder items when you rename it. Um, we're going to do don't add because the files are going to be big to begin with. So we don't want two of them, we just want one of each one. So we're going to go to Don't Add. And then right here we're going to go to Add Sequential for this one. Make Sequential, I should say. And then what this is going to do is it's going to rename the ProRes files. So I'm going to change this to Walkthrough. And then it's going to place a number after the name, starting at number one. So I'm going to go and find the files that have I got from the camera. It's in my movies folder. Walk through. And then right now they're they're separated with the thumbnails in between. If you have a lot, I would switch it down to kind and shift shift all of the movie movie files. And then right now we're just gonna click play. This is all set up. What it's gonna do is start converting it from the .mov format into a ProRes.mov, which is easier to edit in Final Cut or whatever program you're using. ProRes is a lot bigger than the other files, and this is because there's less encoding on it. While this may seem like it'd be harder for the video editing program to edit with these big files, it's actually easier because of the less encoding. The bigger the file, the easier it is for the program to read. So right now you can see that we have both of our files right there, walkthrough one and walkthrough two, and you can highlight those and put them into your editing program.